What's going on guys, this is Shimpact and I'm going to show you how to get shinies in your game. Uh, this is a lot easier than going to the Friends of Fire, it's a lot more common. And it works really really well with the Masuda method. And first you're going to have to download Instachat Hotspot. Uh, I'll leave a link to that in the description and win PCAP. For now you have to have a Windows Vista or newer operating system. Unfortunately Mac versions and Linux versions aren't out yet but they will be soon. At least I think. Uh, but first, you have to uh, go into, after you unzipped WinCheck and all that, or InstaSpot, InstaCheck, uh, you're going to want to go to it, go to the program, and start a hotspot. You want to uh, give it a any ne network name. I gave it mine, XY, and any password. I just did numbers. You have to have like a nine-digit password. So after you did that, you want to go into your connection settings. And I deleted everything else because I don't want my uh, DS to pick up any other Wi-Fi signals. So you go to connection settings, go to new connection, uh, search for an access point, and you want to get the XY connection setting. So after you do that, uh, you go to the XY setting, uh, you click XY, and then you enter your security that you put in. So mine was 1234567891. After you did that, uh, it should connect you to your internet. Uh, you just do a connection test to see how it works. Now, if your internet is garbage like mine, it's going to obviously take a while, so I sped this up. Uh, the first time I did this, my access point wouldn't connect to the internet, so I tried it again, and it worked. But after you do the connection test, you're going to want to just hop online and get everything started. So, as soon as you get your connection test going, you're just going to want to get out of the uh, Wi-Fi settings on your DS and just pop in your XY and go online from there. So like I said you're gonna wanna hop online after you got your connection setting all worked out and you're gonna wanna send a trade request to somebody that you wanna check your eggs for or check what your shiny value is in your game. Now the reason why this works is that each egg doesn't hatch shiny until uh, you actually hatch the egg so the egg isn't shiny until uh, you hatch it, so it's not like IVs and nature and all that. When you pick up the egg from the daycare man, uh, it's determined then for your IVs and stuff, but shininess isn't determined until the egg is actually hatched. So you determine the shiny value from uh, using this program InstaCheck. So I'm hopping online, and you're going to want to open InstaCheck, and... After you connect online, you're going to want to start scanning. Now, you have to obviously have the right uh, network connection. So, for me, it's Microsoft Network 3. I didn't know what it was until I, you know, played around with it. So, uh, it was definitely one of the uh, Microsoft Networks. I just didn't know which one it was because I didn't check before. So, I just fiddled around with it. So, as you can see right there, my connection 2 and connection 1 aren't working. So I just stopped scan and tried three and it started working. So so the way this works is that each egg has a secret shiny value between 1 and 4100. And each trainer has a shiny value between 1 and 4100. So you have to get an egg that matches with somebody's trainer uh, shiny value. And you just trade that egg to that trainer who has that shiny value. And then it will hatch shiny on their game. So using the Masuda method, it increases your chance of getting a shiny value that matches with your game, an egg that matches with your game. So that's the reason why the Masuda method works. And with this, you can just uh, breed a Pokemon egg, get a really, really good Pokemon, and then just trade it away to somebody who has a shiny value uh, that matches with your egg's shiny value. So you don't need the program to actually do this to check your shiny value and shiny value of your eggs because somebody else with the program if you're trading with them they'll be able to see your shiny value for your trainer and your uh, shiny value for your eggs so you just need to trade with somebody but uh it's much much more convenient if you actually have the program so that's the reason why I made this video and yeah as you can see uh for my Mareeps for this particular Mareep it's a 34 24 shiny value so if I trade it to Somebody with a trainer shiny value of 3474, it will hatch shiny on their game. 
Now, there's a really, really easy system on Smogon. There's the spreadsheet that you have uh, that has everyone's shiny value, so you just have to contact them and they'll hatch the egg for you and it'll be golden. But you have to actually be aware of people because there are definitely going to be scumbags who will just take your shiny. So definitely be aware of who you're going to give your eggs away to so that they can hatch it for you. Now, there's a really easy system on IRC for Smogon. I'll uh, do that right now. So to get somebody's shiny value really easy, you just want to hop on IRC. And uh, I'll leave a link to this in the description. Now you just want to just go for a nick and connect. And uh, this is the way I do it, actually. So I just do this. I just go and find shiny value and then just click join. And you have to PM this bot, this robot right here. So you go to the right and try to see his name, but or you can just go SV and the dude will just talk to you right there. And he'll show up on the right, the bot. <laughs> There's got to be an easier way to do this, but whatever. This is the way I do it. Then you'll get a PM system right there. So if you have a shiny value of, like I said, 3424 for your Mareep, you're just going to want to type that. And it'll try to incorporate that into uh, somebody's friend code or whatever but if it doesn't show up that means that there's nobody that's registered on the spreadsheet that has that shiny value and you can also put in multiple shiny values so you can just put a comma and space and then put in a bunch of shiny values so hopefully one of the shiny values that you list somebody has I know somebody has zero so I'm gonna put zero there's a bunch of people that have zero actually I think oh yeah so you just contact uh, if you had a shiny value of zero you just contact Umbreon LML and hopefully this guy is in a scumbag and you can trade with him and he'll hatch your egg and obviously you can't nickname it because uh, it's gonna be on their game so just give it a nickname before uh, and they'll probably nickname it for you so hope you guys enjoyed this video please please give it a like if you did uh, find it helpful Subscribe if you want to see more videos. I'll definitely be doing a breeding guide soon. So thumbs up for that and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace